All right, just an insight into this app. So this is your home screen. Like I said, we've got park, drive, neutral, reverse. Park is, if you, dis if you enable this, your bike cannot be pushed at all. Drive, self-explanatory, drive your bike. Neutral is disabling the throttle response. Reverse is obviously you put your bike in reverse. So let's go neutral now. We've got here, if you look onto the bottom right hand part of the screen, you see it's got ludicrous and street mode. You double press that, it will come up with your parameters for your ludicrous and street mode. Right now it's at 435 phase amps. We've got street mode at 3,400 watts. Ludicrous mode is at 7,000 watts. If so, for instance, if you buy a 72 volt battery off me and you have your 60 volt bypass battery, we can just do one press of a button and change it over. For instance, right now it's on a 16S, which is a 60 volt battery. If I wanted to change it over to my 70 volt big battery, we'll press 72 volts. Save. Now that's configured as a 72 volt battery. Let's bring it back to 60 volt because we're on a 60 volt battery. All right. So we've got here, we've got fault, fault warnings. On the, on the 750 display, we have error codes. Right now here, we'll bring you up all your fault, fault um, errors. If you've got a whole sensor that's messed up, or if your throttle's messed up, it will tell you what's wrong. We've got motor temp threshold. So basically, that's to save your motor. If your motor gets to a certain degrees Celsius, it will cut your power. If it gets way too hot, it will cut power straight away. Like, when I'm saying cut power straight away, there will be no power to your bike. Your bike will shut down until it cools off. Motor temp, controller motor temp, that's set by ASI. We cannot play with that. That's to stop you from burning out your controller. Next screen now we've got, we've got a throttle tune. So this screen is basically some people, they have throttle delays and the throttle's messing up. What we do to do the throttle, we press start throttle tune. So we pull the throttle three times. One, two, three then we save the settings that saved throttles perfect now abs this is for the regen the regen throttle that comes with the kit this is to configure your regen throttle just like your normal throttle so we'll start regen brake tune now press the regen once press it twice press it again that configurates the average voltage of your region. We save that. Braking modes. You've got braking modes here. We've got separate region. Is if you disable that only, you'll only have region on, on the region throttle. Roll of throttle region is if you come off the if you come off the um, throttle, the region would automatically break in. E-brake motor cutoff is if you don't have your brake sensors connected. Um, no, that's if you have your brake sensors connected. When you press your um, brake, your regen will kick in. Uh, wheelie mode is regen off, so you can do your wheelies and everything like that. Here, we can collaborate the regen speed, um, the regen current. So here, we have 
we've got the motor settings the motor settings like i said they're at 430 phase amps you could turn that down do everything in there throttle speed limiting if you want to put a speed limit on your bike uh, we've got throttle tolerance hall if you don't know what you're doing please do not touch that so we've got battery voltage settings now we've already been on that basically it's the phase amps which are 435 street mode level if you have it on street mode it would run at 3000 for 3400 watts if you enable ludicrous mode it would run at 7000 watts then again you can change everything anyway so i'll put that up to 7500 and we save that we've been through that we've got um, full voltage charges 4.2 volts per cell normal cell is 3.7 and your zero percent which will save your cells i put that as as three um at three volts we've got the battery which i've explained already street mode you can so if you're running at um say for instance you're running at ten thousand watts if i was to reduce that to 80 percent you'll be running at eight thousand watts um same again with ludicrous mode then you've got your positive torque ramp your positive torque ramp is how snappy you want to be um, how snappy you want your throttle to be uh, it can go up to 200 the lower it is the more smooth it will be the higher it is the more snappy it would be yeah self-explanatory regen on off regen on street mode off ludicrous mode on street mode off and we've got our speedo and we've got our amps that we're pulling from the battery and regen indicator